The purpose of this video is to help us to evenly space our back hangs. The reason we need it evenly spaced is because it could cause immediate problems, it could cause problems in the future, and it also doesn't look right. The following are signs that your back hangs are improperly spaced. One, your motor rail is off center with the open door. Two, one cable is slack and the other one is tight. Three, the door can look crooked with the opening. Four, the wheels are binding with the horizontal track. And the most obvious one is when your bottom wheels do not have equal spacing on both sides when the door is open. Before you ever start adjusting your back hangs, you want to make sure that your vertical track is properly set as well, because this can really mess with your back hangs and the spacing later if it's not properly taken care of in the first place. I'll show you what I mean. So if your verticals aren't properly beat, your door can shift from left to right. So if your vertical track isn't brought in at the bottom, your door can move to the right or to the left and make it look like your back hangs are improperly spaced. For example, let's push it all the way to the right and then open the door. <laughs> Notice your bottom wheels now. So bringing the bottom of your vertical track in at the bottom of the door is going to keep your door centered with the opening every time and then it won't affect your back hangs. But let's see how we do that. First center the door with the opening and then bring in the bottom of your track. So bring in the bottom of your vertical track towards the door. You don't want it to touch the door. There should be a little bit of space there just to give it a little room to move, but you do want it to be brought in enough so the door doesn't move left to right. With the vertical track brought in at the bottom, now the door can't move left to right. It can a little bit, which is good, but you don't want any more than that. One thing that can make back hanging spacing confusing is that sometimes there will be good space on the wheels for your horizontals on both sides, yet still those back hangs are improperly spaced. One thing you want to do is ignore the spacing on your horizontals. Instead, look at your bottom wheels when the door is open. Notice the right wheel is binding with the track, whereas the left wheel has a lot of space from the track. What this tells you is that this side with the most space has the horizontal pushing in too far to the door, causing the whole door to push to the right. Since our left wheel has the most space at the bottom, we know we're going to move this back hang on the left side out away from the door. I'm going to start with just two holes on the punch angle. Now every time you make an adjustment to your back hangs, because you already brought in the vertical track at the bottom of your door, and your door is centered every time the door closes, you can now close the door, it'll act like a reset, then you open the door and see if you still need to make any more adjustments on your back hang. Now that I reopen the door, I can see that this bottom wheel is still tight on this side, but that one's a lot better. So now we know that we want to move this back hang. And if you notice, you can see the big wheel spacing in the very back. So now that we adjusted this back hang in towards the door a couple holes now, I'm going to close the door, open it, and check one more time to see if we need any more adjustments after that. Okay. 
Again, ignore the spacing with the wheels on your horizontals. What you want to look for is that bottom wheel that has the most space between the track. That's going to be the side with the backing that you want to move out away from the door. 